What's going on everyone? It's DV and I'm in this game called Rocket Tester. It reminds me a lot of that Blast Off Simulator if you remember that game. But in this one, it's a little bit more simulator. <laughs> it's a little bit more simulator. And, and I'm not talking like Roblox simulator terms. I'm talking about like real life simulator. So anyway, before I begin, if you could do me a huge favor and hit that like button and smash the subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, that'd be awesome. There's only like 13% of you that have actually subscribed who watch my channel. So if you can hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't, then that'd be awesome. So I'm going to show you how to play the game it's a little bit of a learning curve here but you see i've got rocket one controls i got rocket two controls and i got space station controls but before we start here i am going to buy some research points so let's go ahead and just spend 800 robux on a million now there are some game passes in here um i don't really know how to get them inside the game let's see there's like all kinds of game passes yeah so i think i'm gonna have to buy them outside of the game real quick from their page i'm not seeing it here maybe it's inside of like a shop or something what's this guy over here here. I can't close it. There we go. So there's help over here. This is like the spawn point. Okay. Yeah. I don't see the game passes in here, but I know they have them on their page. So I'm going to go and buy them off the page and reload. So here, here are the game passes. If you're curious. So they got like this mothership game pack. Game pass is complete with circling drones. This is the pinnacle of space flight technology in the universe. So I'm going to go and get that UFO game pass. Them earthlings don't know nothing about proper spaceship. You got to try out our wonderful technology. That's just worded weird. All right. We got that. We got the UFO and then we got the steampunk spaceship game pass you never know what a little steam power can do that's kind of weird sounds kind of cool though and then what else they've got glue glider powered by nuclear fusion this plane goes fast and far Ooh, that's cool and then there's a donation one here which i don't really get donation ones it gives chat a chat and game name i mean i'll do it anyway i'll donate just because devs need money but yeah i don't really understand the donation ones all right so now i'm gonna reload the game real quick all right here we go so we're gonna go launch rocket one okay so you can click here to generate a rocket at launch launch pad one so there's a launch pad and let me see where that is real quick let me see launch pad one is over here somewhere where's my place there it is so here's launch pads over here so we got two of them and i guess there's space station controls i have not done anything in here i don't really know i think we kind of have to launch stuff to get to that oh what's this i didn't see this part can you go inside this it's like a control tower does not look like we can go in the control tower let me see what these buttons are generate a car you can get a car that's cool little golf cart and hey, we got a car and then there's a van there's a golf cart and a helicopter Oh, helicopter's cool. Look at it's technically rotating, I guess. Can't tell. Can't really tell. Okay, so R to move up, slash F to move. Wait, F. Okay, F goes down. Okay, cool. We don't really need that anyway. So let's go and switch our controls on. Okay, so controls one. We're gonna launch. Um, so you can see right here, there's a whole list of missiles, and a lot of these are based on real life missiles, which is really cool. Or ICBMs, except for the UFOs. Um, and it looks like there's some in here, maybe Sea Dragon. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a it looks like it's based on a real bomb so what's cool about this though is like these are all based on like real research like the r7 sputnik you know and it gives you a little history about each of these like in 1957 the ussr launched the sputnik one satellite with an r7 rocket kicking off in space so they give you a little bit of history about each rocket which i thought was kind of fascinating and then you can also i think um narrow things down so you see all these bottoms buttons they're like filters so if you can't see any rockets it's because you clicked on too many so you see how it's like if you click on too many and so what you want to do is only select Select, like things you want to narrow down so you can go like I want to see you know just the United States I think these are only US yeah so these are the only only the US ones so you pretty much remove anything else now you can do like SpaceX so these are all the SpaceX rockets so like the Falcon 9 and stuff that's really cool and then they got the space station stuff you got Soviet Union only only Soviet Union stuff you got Russia you've got uh, Israel so it's got like these filters so only select one at a time if you do this because I think uh, I think you can still do like missiles like that so you can do like types but it's kind of disorganized so we're gonna go and start off with this first one though because it requires zero research see the re research points required i almost feel like they should have actually moved that into like its own like little cost thing like the ui is really poorly done in this game but you see this doesn't require any kind of research points so you know it shows like the current altitude the fuel remaining and right here and then we can launch it and end it so we're gonna go and launch this hey, it's over there right there there it is like it doesn't really go very far Look, it just fell over. So let me let me let me in that, and I'm gonna launch it again so you can see it. See how it's right here? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get over there real quick, and then I'm gonna launch it. All right, here's here's the uh, here's the little rocket. Check this out. Oh, dude, it doesn't have much fuel. Look at it. 
<laughs> okay, let's end that and let's get a better rocket here. We're going to use 20 research points. So you can see how much research points I have. I have a million right now. So that basically makes it so I can launch a lot of different things. So let's go ahead and launch this one. There's also a camera tracker. That's pretty cool. All right, let's launch. Let's go to camera track. So we're tracking it on the actual rocket itself. This is cool. Oh no. Oh no. Are we going to launch into the other base? Rip. We just launched over there and blew it up. It blew up. All right. So let's end that. Now we can go launch another one. So let's do, um, this one requires 25. Let's check this one out. This one looks kind of cool. It looks kind of lopsided. Oh, it's just an optical illusion. Okay. Let's launch it. it only has a hundred fuel. This is going to go fast. Let's camera track it. Oh, it's going pretty good. Uh, we're about to run out. Definitely going higher than last time. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's going to go out of the map. No, it's not. It's going to stay in the map. Rip. It blew up the bridge. Oh geez. It's flipping. All right. <laughs> that one was a failure. All right. Let's try a uh, Viking rocket. Viking rocket looks pretty cool. Oh, this one's not going very far at all. What's the max we've gone so far? I, I don't know what the last one did, but this one's going up to 30, 30, 40. It got up to 4,400 studs. Oh no, it's going back. It's going back. Dink. All right, that was kind of weak. And let's do the Sputnik. This is the Sputnik. This is going to go to space, I think. So this is this is like an actual satellite, I think. Oh dude, I ended up like spawning. I got like wrecked here. My character's sliding out. Come on, there we go. All right, look at this. This is the first big one we've got. So this is actually a satellite. So you see there's like different phases too. All right, so we're going to launch this guy. Dude, that's impressive. Look at the smoke. Oh, dude, let's go. So we see the boosters. Once those are um, actually out of fuel, we need to disconnect that. So we're going to drop boost boosters as soon as it reaches zero. Dude, this is going far. Drop boosters. Now we can continue up. You want to do that a little earlier than I did. <laughs> And then once we um, release this, we can re uh, once we get to zero on core, we can actually release our satellite. I don't think we got enough altitude for it though. Maybe. No, we didn't. We didn't abort, abort, <laughs> abort. All right. Well, that was a failed launch. Let's do the Scud missile though. This one's pretty cool. So let's do a Scud. Oh, look at it. It's got the little Scud launcher. Yeah. Can we target? How do we target? Targeting red. Okay. We'll target red team, I guess. Oh no. Oh no. It's it's totally going towards them. Oh no. We're launching red. No. <laughs> Boom. That's great. All right. Let's do a new one. This is so much fun okay so the explorer is another um i think it's another satellite yeah so it gives 100 points if the satellite goes above 30,000. all right so let's do this one a little thing on top spinning too all right let's launch dude let's go look at that little thing spinning that's crazy all right so we're dropping stage one keeping that up gonna drop stage two any second now there we go still going i don't know are we gonna make it yeah dude i think we made it we made it yeah we did it's staying up awesome all right is that a helicopter <laughs> someone's stalking me so we did the explorer let's do the vanguard Guard. Oh, this looks cool. Launch. I love the different details of these. Each of these rockets have like their own equipment and stuff. It's really well done. About to hit stage three. All right, we released our satellite. We're going, we're going past 30. We just went past 31. Still going. That's cool. So we launched successfully. All right, let's do um, the X-15. Looks pretty cool. This one has like a lot of different things here. It's kind of weird. Um, now, I think this one launches a different location, if I recall. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. I think this is like you're technically already in the sky, if I recall. Yeah, I can't even see. It. I don't even know where it's at. This one's a little weird. I guess it's, I don't even know where it's at. <laughs> I don't even know where it's at. There's no like camera. Miniman, nice. All right, Miniman's pretty cool. Let's go. Launch it up. Oh yeah. This is like one of the most um, known missiles in the US is Miniman. Drop in a minute. Mm -mm -mm. Dropping. This thing's going to go so high up. I can't remember if it's an R MRBM or an ICBM. It's definitely not a short range. I think it's an ICBM. Dude, we're going so high. We're going, we're passing 30,000 right now. There we go. No, look at it's gonna it's it's actually legit launching why is it stuck here oh no is it going to red or just going straight in the middle boom all right that's cool let's see i so we did the minuteman vostick vostick launch oh you can't use a camera on this one but you can land it what dude i can't even see it anymore whoa 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 what's that oh no <laughs> dude that almost killed me dude look at that shell just came down all right at some point we're supposed to land 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 it's coming down too quick is that it right there oh it does a parachute that's cool okay so we did that what was it called the vostick Stuck. It's a Freedom 7. Whoa. That looks deadly. Let's check the Freedom 7. Uh, what is that one? Freedom 7. It's a... Oh, this one is a Soviet Union launched it. So soon after the Soviet Uni Union launched a man into orbit with Vostok, we sent Alan Shepard into space in 1961 abo aboard this, I guess, this rocket. Cool. All right, let's go. I just want to skip a across some of these. Let's go to... Let's check out Friendship. Friendship's cool. Mariner. Mariner. Vos Voskhod. 
Mariner 4, Gemini. What's Gemini? So United States launched two astronaut crews into space with a Gemini program. This one's not, that one doesn't go very tall. A Gina target vehicle. It exploded. No, no, we're skipping that. Yeah, that one's not very tall. That one doesn't go very high either. Saturn Apollo. Wait, we get points for landing on the moon? Let's do this one. What is this? Dude, look at this. It's huge. Let's go. Let's go on a mission. We'd be going to space, yo. We ready. We're ready. Let's go. Let's go. Yay, dude. This is cool. Drop stage one. Oh, where'd that go? Did we need that? <laughs> Did we need that? I don't know if that we needed that part. Dropping stage two in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. 15, 14. So we're down to five. Let's drop three. Okay, now we're on our final stage. Ooh, look it. I'm in this little crazy pod thingy. Oh, no. Are we supposed to land on the moon? Okay, land on the moon then. Let's do it. Wait, what? Was I supposed to get in that? Oh, no. I think I was supposed to go in that. Uh, Unfold the rover, I guess. I think I was supposed to go on that. <laughs> Oops. Let's return to command. All right, we'll return to Earth. Here we go. Yay. We made it. We survived. Oof. <laughs> kind of. All right, let's go in that. What's the next one? That was cool. Um, so that was the Saturn Apollo N1. So this was intended to beat the US to the moon. Black Arrow, orbital rocket built at the UK. First test, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go to, um, can we spawn back at our base? Teleport to base. Okay, I don't think this one's a very good one. It's in that one. Okay, the USSR put the first space station into orbit. So this one, does this one launch a space station? Salut. Whoa, dude, is that in Russian? Wait, there's a UFO, nobody. We're launching it before the UFOs attack. Before the UFO attacks. All right, camera tracking. Here we go. Is this a space station though? We need space stations out here. Oops. I think my timing was a little off on this. <laughs> Oopsies. Cool. Oh no, it's dropping. Oh no, it's good. It's good. It's just settled in. All right. What can we do with this? Oh, you can see inside. That's cool. I'll bet you if I actually got another rocket out here, I could actually land, like connect to this. That'd be cool. All right. So let's go in that real quick. Let's launch another rocket. So let's go controls for one. And let's see. We got solution. Salyul Skylab. So largest satellite ever launched by a single rocket. That sounds cool. Helios 40,000, 1,000 when it reaches the sun. We, we can launch the this thing to reach the sun. Heck yeah. Can we go in it? I don't think this is a man. I don't think this is a man rocket. All right, let's launch it. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Let's redo that. Let's do that. Let's do that again. Oopsies. Let's launch it now. All right. So this thing could go to the sun. Are you kidding me? Drop boosters. Now we're on stage. We're on stage two now. This thing's going to go to the sun. That's really cool. It's going to see. It's going to pass by Elon's Tesla. Still going. Boom. Let's go. Let's go. Do we actually see if it's going to reach this, the sun? Wait, why is it dropping? Why is it falling? Aw. I think it's a failed mission. Wait, no, it's going. It's going. Look it. There's the sun. I think if we reach the sun, dude. Nice. All right. Voyager 2. It took advantage of a rare alignment. So, okay. 1,000 points of the height when the fourth stage runs out. Fuel is greater than 50,000. It's going to reach Neptune. Let's reach Neptune then. Let's go. Release the boosters. Let's go. Let's go. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna reach Neptune, dude. Just past 40,000. So now we're on stage four. All right. We released our probe. Nice. See so if we reach it. We should see a planet soon. Dude, there it is. Oh, we're passing through. We're passing by planets right now. I have no idea where we're going. We just keep going. We're still moving. Is this Neptune? Yeah, this is Neptune. It's like a little blue planet. Cool. All right. Oh, maybe it wasn't. This is Neptune right here. Yeah, that's Neptune. It's like a blue planet. We reached it. Uh, Where are we going? All right. So we're going to end that because that's kind of crazy. And then Voyager 1 goes to, I think, the sun. No, it's far from the sun. Um, this one is a resupply vehicle. Space shuttle. So this one designed a reusable rocket. Oh, that's cool. Let's go in the space shuttle. Rip. Oh, cruise missile. Oops. I'm in the cruise missile. Oh, no. I'm still in it. I'm in it. What the, what the heck? All right. We're launching. We're launching the shuttle. Let's go. Captain DV. Visually, this is the coolest one I've seen so far. It looks really cool. Dropping boosters. Later boosters. Good luck on the way down. Down. Oh, dude, don't block us. It's like, I'm going to take you out with me. Dropping externals. Oh, this thing's not going very far at all. It's struggling. Time to land. Oh, that's cool. It's landing onto, is this, this is my space station I made. What? Oh, that's cool. It's docking, but we can't get out of it. All right, that's cool. Are we able to land this thing? Guess not. All right, there's our tomahawk. Let's go ahead and, yeah, let's just, can I not target someone else? Okay, let's launch it. The little tomahawk, dude. There it goes. Oh, that's messed up. Oh, man. Boom. Uh, What's this Giotto? Flying past a comet. That's cool. Um, there's this one. First modular space station. Reusable plane. It's kind of like a shuttle. Yeah, it's basically a shuttle. Ooh, 
Hubble Space Telescope. I've heard about this. We can launch that out in space. That's cool. It looks like just a shuttle, though. Viewing targets. Oh, that's neat. Uh, what else we got? Opportunity was launched in 2003. It landed on Mars. Let's do this one. What's the opportunity? That looks cool. Let's do this one. There's like a probe that you can launch to Mars. It's like a skinny. It's like a really skinny rocket. Look at this. Super skinny. Oh, I better pay attention. Um, we got boosters. Two dropping in 20 seconds. Actually, less than faster than 20 seconds. All right, dropping. Stage one, two, and three. So stage three is releasing the probe. Stage two. All right, there's stage two is gone. I don't think we're gonna be able to reach it. I mean, we're only at 30,000. All right, there goes the probe. Let's see if we can reach Mars, dude. Let's go. All right, so we reached this area. Now we can land it. Yeah, we're, we're landing. I wonder if I can actually maneuver around. What are all those? Oh, wait, are these player slots? These are like that. So one of these players in this list actually has all those on their section. That's cool. I didn't know you could do that. That's a really cool aspect of the game, to be honest. My guess is it's Bravo Plays right there. They're pretty OP. They play the game a lot. <laughs> yes. Boingy. All right. So we got a little rover. Can we move them around? Dude, it's a rover. Oh, that's so cool. We'll stick this over in the corner over here. <laughs> this game's really detailed. All right. Launch. All right. That's cool. Okay. So what else we got? We got, so that was opportunity. So if I scroll all the way down to the bottom here, nuclear power means infinite fuel. So of course I'm going to give me a nuclear glider for free. Get the game pass. So we have this, but how do I, how do we actually see it? How do we see this thing? Is it on the, maybe it's on the runway. Is there like an airport? Oh, maybe I need to load it up. Maybe I need to get in it. Is there like a runway or something? I don't even know where this thing is. Anytime we have like the airplanes and stuff, I can never locate them. Oh wait, is that it? There's a runway over here. The plane generates at the runway. Okay. Can we teleport to the runway? What is this? Oh, I think something's in the way or something. I don't think this is working. Oh, I see. I see it. I found it. I found it. I found it. There's my runway right there. So I'm on green. So this is my runway over there. This, I'm so dumb. I didn't even see this over here. Okay. So you go up this ramp right here and there's my plane. Sweet. All right, let's get in that. Can we get in it? Hello? Hello? Can we not sit in it? There's the loading ramp. Dude, why can't I get in it? I think it's broken. It's broken. Rip. All right. Can we, can we like load something else here? How about the other plane that we didn't do? The X-15. Yeah, yeah, this thing. What is this? No. Oh, wait, here's the X-15. Can we get in this? Please. Let me get in it. Maybe it's not compatible with my avatar. It's like, how do I let you in the vehicle? Okay. Release. <laughs> I just launched them. Dude, so much for that. Okay, so gliders no go. Alien mothership. Where's that at? Where's the alien mothership? What? Yeah, some of these are a little confusing. Then you got the steampunk spaceship. That's right there. All right. Oh, there's the alien mothership. It's right there. Oh, that's cool. So these like these little drones that you can circle around your ship. Hold on. We got to get in that. We got to get in that. Is there like literally no chair? I don't think my avatar is compatible with this game's seats. I can't sit, but let's go ahead and go up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, we're taking off. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's going crazy, dude. All right, return to base, return to base. Oh, it just abandoned me. It's a sea dragon. So the sea dragon costs 10 million. I don't have enough for the sea dragon yet. Dude, that costs 10 million. Okay, so we can afford, this is the one that we can afford right now is the Skylon. I don't even know where it's at. Oh, there it is. Let's see if this one have, has seats in it. If it doesn't, then rip. Oh, this thing looks crazy. Oh, I can't even get in it. All right, there's the Falcon. That's basically the the uh, SpaceX rocket right there. It's taking off. I'm surprised we can't do any kind of tracking on these. Oh, you can actually get in this one. This is the Falcon one. Okay, so we can sit in this one. Cool. So let's go ahead and take off in this one. Let's go to Mars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, this is going to be our last one, though. This is actually a really cool game. If you want to check it out, definitely do so. I will link it in the description below. This is actually a really cool game. If you just want to mess around and launch to space, and if you, especially if you like space sims, I would say this one's probably up there with the space sail sailors that I just posted recently and probably comes in first. I think it's better in some ways. Um, oops, I forgot to drop stage one. Rip. But anyway, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Relaunch, relaunch.